again, everybody. I'm Jose. And I'm me. And this is Nathan. Woo! And in case you don't know, we're the NJ fam. Now today we have another special video for you guys. A top 10 parent must-haves. And this list came directly from mommy herself. She made it all. She did her research on these products and she'll tell you herself about how much they've helped out. These tools really helped me out. And again, as we said in the other video, we're always learning. Yeah, always. And so hopefully this stuff might help you guys out. The top 10 parent must-haves. I go to war, I fight for you. Even when I've left, I do right by you. I'll be your everything, your blue sky. Love for the moment and all your pain to be broken See when I look in that smile, all your beauty is spoken I love the vibes that you carry, I see the spark of your motion And when I see that you're down, I put the waves in your ocean I'll be the first to admit, I know I have a lot of flaws But nothing you couldn't fix, you're gorgeous From your mind to your heart, straight to your hips I want that never ending ride, so baby get with the script We're on a different route, show me what you're all about Tears coming from your heart even when I've left, I'll do right by you I'll be your everything Your blue sky Love for the moment and all your pain to be broken. See when I look in that smile, all your beauty. So the first product is the famous Dr. Brown bottles. And these are so helpful because we tried many bottles with Nathan. He's always been a formula baby. And there's a story to that. We'll go ahead and share that later on. In a QA. Yeah, do, something like that. Anything. This was recommended to us by a friend. And it's the only bottle that we've ever come across that has uh, an air filter. This bottle reduces feeding problems. It helps with the digestive system and it helps preserve vitamins. It's vacuum free feeding. Whatever works for your baby works for your baby and that's going to be yeah. what you should go with. But in our experience, in our personal experience with Nathan, this is what's helped us out the most. And here's the filter, guys. Uh, Nathan doesn't really do bottle feeding anymore. We're trying to transition him to the soft spout. And this is what we're using now. It's called the MAM Trainer Cup. And it has for bottle feeding. That's what we give him at night only. But during the day, we use this one. As you can see, it's a little different. And it also has handle so he can grip, you know practice and everything. Product number two is the formula dispenser. This is very inexpensive guys. This like costs like no more than three bucks I think. Yeah it's really handy for when you go on trips or um actually it's it's handy for like anything like late nights when you know dad or something has to wake up and make the bottle. You don't have to like uh measure there you know and uh -huh, and count how many scoops you got in there. You can just do it the night before. And, and uh, it's not only for formula, I also read it's great for like baby cereal. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So um, you don't have to carry like the big formula can. That's what I used to do, but then I came across that and I was uh, like... It's got three different compartments that you can just uh, switch to pretty easily like that. So each one can have a different uh, measurement. So like, uh, for example, in the morning he'll have a five ounce bottle. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the afternoons, he's like a little, he has like a little more energy. He's been doing some more stuff, so he'll have a uh, six ounce or eight, eight ounces. Yeah, around there. And you don't have to, uh, worry about counting it all out because it'll all just be here. Mm -hmm. It only has three slots though, so you gotta make sure you got at least three bottles prepared for the day. Yeah, and it's, like I said, it's really handy, it's fast, and just open this up, and you pour, and, uh, it's ready to go. Mm -hmm. Product number three 
is the Baby Genix Teething Gel Pods. Oh, yeah. All natural stuff. That's what I like. Um, we used this for Nathan when he was really bad at teething, like, once, about two times. I mean, it was hard because he was in so much pain. He was always crying, and he was bothered by everything, and he was always, like, sticking his fingers in his mouth because it hurt. This really helped out a lot because yeah. it's a... Uh, you like don't, a numbing agent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need to put a lot, like, a lot of this. Like I said, I only put, like, twice of this product on him, and he was good. We just put, like, a little dab around his gums. And that's uh -huh. all. That's just all. Just wherever you see the teeth coming in. Yeah, we recommend that if you guys get this, you apply it at least, like, an hour or two before bedtime. Oh, it helps. Yeah, he'll fall asleep, and he'll pro he probably won't wake up for the rest of the night. Car seat canopy. And this, I really like because it has these, uh, like, Velcro attachments that goes to any size car seat. And you don't have to have that hassle where you put, like, a blanket over the car seat while you're carrying your little baby. And then the wind flies it off. That's the problem I had. And uh, so I got this one. And I'll link all these products down below for sure so you guys... If you take any interest in any of them, you can go ahead and check them out. Yeah, we were. I remember when Nathan was uh, still only like one to four months old. You know, he was still a tiny little thing. He would have a lot of trouble sleeping in his car seat because of the sunlight. So around that time, it was still winter around here. So it was like snowy and really, really cold. And this really helped inside his car seat. It was so warm and he wasn't bothered at all by any of it. You're, you're one of those people that doesn't like people staring at your baby. <laughs> this is what you need, Got man. Got you covered. It's real. They, they out there, man. People will, people will just be eyeballing your baby, like, from across the room, and you're just, like, kind of, like... <laughs> Cover him up. Yeah. And we even got his name imprinted on that. Oh, yeah. And what's funny is that some stupid-ass people would always be like, What's his name? <laughs> what's his name? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, you know. Product number five is something that we came across at our trip to Baby Fest mm -hmm. in Seattle. Uh, it was really fun. We've never been to Baby Fest, so we recommend it if you're a new parent or if you just have kids. Anyways, back on to product number five. It's this cute little uh, pouch that we found by one of the vendors that was there that sold us these little doggy bags. And what it is, is you're supposed to clip it onto your diaper bag or on your purse and it's like real cute it comes in like a doggy or like a bunny or a kid you get these you know like when you go into bags. the doctor's office and uh your kid goes to the bathroom you're not supposed to throw it just like that this is any anywhere really inconvenient yeah. this is the perfect place to put your little baby's stinky doo-doo you just pop it in one of these bags and you get to throw it away these are like so convenient because they're cheap they're great for on the go. Small. Yeah, they're really great for on the go. And we're always on the go. So, uh, product number five. Product number six, we also got at Baby Fest. And by the way, we had one local. It was uh, located in Seattle. It was over in Portland first, and then it came over to Seattle, and so we went to the one in Seattle. Even saw um, advertisements for one in Spokane, but we don't know what that'd be like. No, no disrespect to Spokane. We love Spokane. We say we don't know what that'd be like because we don't spend a lot of time in Spokane. Yeah. We go to Seattle a lot because Spokane also has um, a Comic Con. No, I'm going to go to Spokane a but lot more often. You know, we're going to go psyched. see my tattoo guy. Oh, yes. Shout out to Smurf. If yes. You probably ain't watching this video, but yeah. <laughs> if you're a parent that likes tattoos and you're in the Washington area, hit up Tattoo Smurf. We'll fucking put his link right here. Fuck it. Cause... We'll have videos of him too later on coming up. Yeah. He has nothing to do with product. He's the homie. <laughs> <laughs> the teething. The teething. Um... Yes, product number six are fucking teethers. And these are really great because uh, they're cute. They look like little snack foods, you know, like things that we would eat, like ice cream sandwich they had and an donuts Oreo. And like other stuff. <laughs> yeah, they had donuts but... and a, a honey pot. But uh, they're really great. These beads are nice and soft too, and he mm -hmm. likes to chew on those. They're like a gummy material. Oh, yeah. They're pretty easy to clean. Yeah. If you take care of them, then you won't lose them. I have the Facebook page to this. Mm -hmm. But again, we got it at Baby Fest, so those products are a little bit harder to come by. Just because they're yeah. like local shops. Or some of them even came from Oregon. 
they're like self-starting businesses it's, is the yeah, main thing. Yeah. Like a lot of these people, they came up with these things themselves. And Baby, Baby Fest was their opportunity to sell them. And the NJ fam came across them. And we really like them. Nathan really likes them too. P -p -p Product number seven is a water thermal. Anything related to do with babies. But the reason why these are so important to have is because... Again, for the formula babies. Uh-huh, for the formula babies. We boil some water uh, a few hours before nighttime or, uh, you know, whenever it's running low. We boil some water and fill it up. You just put about an ounce of boiled water and then, like, the rest In is... In room temperature water. Yeah. And make sure it's not too hot. Even despite our recommendations, you got to make sure it's not all... Oh, yeah. It won't burn your baby's mouth because it, it does get really hot. So it's kind of like a hack. It's great to have one of these around. Yeah. Uh, I got this really cute one, and it kind of reminds me of the Reptar from Rugrats. Oh, yeah. The 90s. <laughs> yeah, if you like this one, there's like uh, four other ones, different colors and different little designs, and uh -huh. they're, they're just adorable. There's these things all over the place. You really can find them anywhere. So uh, product number seven. Right here. Thermal. Product number eight is the disposable placements. Oh yeah, these honestly, are really nice. Guys, dollar store. If you guys are like us, that we love to go out and eat. I know that restaurants are clean. I mean, we won't just go to any restaurant. Uh -huh. But um, just to be on the safe side, we like putting one of these down. Mm -hmm. Especially because also Nathan makes a mess. Uh, what you do is you open it up, peel the stickers off the back so that it stays. And you place it right where your baby's sitting. Put all of his little finger foods there. Like I said, they're a dollar at the dollar store, guys. Yeah, check out the dollar store. Look for these. So this, guys, I don't know exactly what it's called. But my cousin gave it to me as a gift. And it's great if you can just have it in your purse. Have a diaper in it. Ready to go with the whiteies. Pull it out. Take your kids to the bathroom. Change them. And this is how it looks. Oh, it also has a clip. Here it is. You place it down on that nasty changing. Baby changing stick. Yeah. Really, really it has a cushion. Perfect. It has cushion in it. Yeah. So, so it's nice and soft. It's like a little bag. You just put it in your Yay. regular diaper bag or, you know, your bag and it has everything. Yeah, it's needs. super great. Thank you, Prima. Product number 10 a little skip hop snack cup. Now, babe, you're the one who got this for Nathan in this adorable little puppy theme. So why don't you tell them about this, because this is pretty great. Hey Nathan, come here. You want to demonstrate? He, one. Come here. he still doesn't get the hang of it, of putting his hand in it. He sees me do it, but he's just kind of like, what are you doing? But um, they're supposed to put their hand in it, take out right, a snack, so. check this out. Nothing comes out. It's safely put in there. You don't have to worry about spills, any messy stuff. And he loves his snacks. Oh yeah, he loves his snacks. Here you go, baby. Banana? Yeah. A banana? Um, nom, 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 nom. But yeah, guys, look. That's, that's what I like. No mess. Mm -hmm. So that was our... Top 10 parent must-haves. Must -haves. We really hope you guys consider getting some of these things. Here you go, figure it out. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff helped us out and hopefully it helps you guys out mm -hmm. if you'd like to take our advice then here it is I guess that's it right babe yeah. <laughs> so until next time I'm Jose I'm me Nathan don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe hit that little bell so you'll be notified for more Whenever videos we post a new video don't miss anything. Can you say bye-bye? Can you say bye-bye?